Paratyphoids, also known under the name Salmonellosis, is a very dreaded pigeon disease. The Salmonella bacteria, very common in the pigeon world, is responsible for this terrible disease. What makes it sometimes difficult to identify paratyphoids is the fact that the disease manifests itself in various ways. A well-known kind of paratyphoid is the joint form. The paratyphoid germ attacks the joints. From here the typical name, wing disease. The wing hangs down and a swelling is clearly seen at the shoulder joint. Not only the wing, but also the joints of the leg can be attacked. A frequently occurring ailment is gastroenteritis, provoked by the salmonella germ. This affection especially afflicts young pigeons. In a paratyphoid infection, the intestines are mostly the victims, but important internal organs, such as the liver and the kidney, can also be affected. In pigeons, loss of weight and exhaustion result with sometimes even death as a consequence. If the paratyphoid is chronical, typical eye abscesses are sometimes noticed. Often, the lofts are infected with paratyphoids without the presence of clear symptoms on the loft. In these cases, the salmonella germs are latent. The competition results are then mostly below average. It is also a fact that infected pigeons have a lower fertility and that breeding results are poor. The salmonella germ, the provoker of paratyphoids, is one of the few bacteria which can also be transmitted through the egg to the young. The assumption that paratyphoid is present should best be confirmed through a laboratory examination. What remains to be done in the salmonella infection? First and foremost, the seriously ill pigeons should be immediately removed. The rest of the pigeons are giving the medication Theraprim in their drinking water. Simultaneously, furoxine is put on the feedings. The treatment is prolonged for at least 14 days. After the treatment, all pigeons should be vaccinated. This is necessary to develop an immunity against the sickness and to limit the duration of the